Where's your ball? There you go. Dango here. Episode 2 of Two Bros Play Ghost of Tsushima. But tighter. Coming right up. Here are the rules. The gameplay must look perfect. That means no damage taken, and everything must be deliberate and flawlessly executed. If you mess up, you pass the controller to your bro and restart the section. The best takes are kept. Here are the results. They must be searching for you. Bastards scared off the horses. They're samurai mounts, trained to return to their masters. Nice trick. The Mongols must be hunting you. We should split up. I'll draw their attention while you escape. I'm not leaving your side until we've saved my brother. First, I need to find more allies. Trained warriors. Like Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi. They can help. My brother can help too. Once we save him, you'll have the island's best blacksmith in your debt. He'll make whatever tool you need to save your uncle. Something to scale the castle walls? You dream it, Taka can make it. Where are they holding him? He was captured near Kechi. Right there and ask around. I'll join you soon. Taka won't last long in the Mongol cage. You know, we will save your brother. And your uncle.
send your best warrior. So many brave samurai died at Komoda. How are you alive, my lord? I've lost everything I own. What happened? I went to sleep. At the inn. And the next thing I knew, Mongols were dragging me outside. They've taken over the inn. They'll hurt anyone who comes looking for shelter and rest. I have to drive them out. Let's go, Nobu. Lord Sakai, I studied poetry with your uncle. The 
Mongols have taken Lord Shimura captive. Mm -hmm. He will endure. He is strong and resilient, skilled in the arts of combat and poetry. Do you practice haiku, my lord? There is no time during war. War is the reason to make time. Haiku allows one to concentrate, eliminate chaos. To find peace. Precisely. My favorite place to write lies atop the cliff. It is one of many such places. If you look, you will find inspiration all across Tsushima. I hope I can find quiet places like this one, untouched by war. Look for the birds. They will show you the way. <laughs> Whispers through the trees. A cool bed beneath the stars. Growing ever strong. The old man was right. My spirit feels at peace. Strong. I should compose more poems. <laughs> My lord, don't go into the forest of Kashine. They're haunted by angry spirits. Dead samurai, eager to spill blood. We're in the middle of a war. I doubt spirits are the cause of this. People go into the woods and never come out. Mongol and Japanese alike. The bodies that turn up have all been killed by samurai blades. Blades are needed by men, not spirits. I'll look into this. <laughs> She springs. Perhaps someone at the inn can direct me to Sensei Ishikawa. I must have 
known the perfect place to attack Tsushima. But how? I've heard rumors he studied Tsushima and the samurai before he came to A samurai? But I? I'm looking for Sensei Ishikawa. I thought he fell at Komoda. He didn't. Where is his dojo? To the forest. I can show you the way, my lord. Did the sensei not fight at Komoda? No. He came to town for surprise the day before the invasion. Hardly spoke a word, but he's always been a private man. My lord, are the stories of Sensei Ishikawa are true? What stories? They say he sank a pirate ship with a single arrow. <laughs> Not the ship, but he shot a pirate captain from the shore, routed the whole fleet. I'd hate to cross an archer like that. Do you deserve death? I hope not, my lord. Then you're safe from Ishikawa. The sensei's dojo is up there on the cliff. Thank you. I'll take it from here. One more question, my lord. May I ask why the sensei left his post as archery master to clan Nagao? No one knows. Strange. Giving up service to a great lord for... this. Pasta, hmm? no Sensei Ishikawa's dojo. There was a struggle here. Better look around. Someone was wounded. Remove the arrow. Dried blood. The fight wasn't recent. Bloody footprints. The victim or the attacker? Maybe the sensei is in his house. A humble home for a samurai. Don't move. Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. You survived Komoda. We could have used your bone. I was on my way when bandits attacked me. Are you expecting them to return? A samurai is never caught by surprise. I'm sorry about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Try and keep up, Sakai. Who else made it out of Kumuda? No one knows. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? I don't know yet. You'd better find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. I can help track your student. I need no help tracking Tomoe. Tomoe? A woman? From what clan? No clan. A peasant. She can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even you, Sakai.
The last time I saw you was ten years ago. You came to study with me. You remember? I remember most of the students I reject. Instead, you took this Tomoe as your student. You showed promise. Tomoe is a prodigy. Mongols, take them. <laughs> Like drunk Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. The moist trail picks up here. Come! The Mongols took for Nakayama. The patrol likely came from there. That's close to the hot springs. The town will be the next to fall. Something happened here. An ambush. Look around. Blood. But not much. No one died. Rice and millet. Left uneaten. The attack was sudden. Japanese quiver. A gift to my greatest student. I fear the worst. Tomoe would never leave that quiver behind. Unless she was pursued. Or captured. To what end? Interrogation. Torture. Worse. They may be doing the same to Lord Shimura. Fear is a weapon, Sakai. Do not let the Mongols use it against you. Your student, where would they take her? Fort Nakayama. The fort is nearby. I should have fought the Komura with you. Better you didn't. We lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. I saw it with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Stop here. We need to talk. What's wrong, Sensei? This bow was a gift to me from Lord Nagao many years ago. It's a beautiful weapon. Of course it is. And there's nothing more painful to me than a perfect bow ineptly used. Then it's a good thing you're giving it to me. <sighs> Who said anything about giving? Prove you can shoot straight. I'll let you borrow it. A bow like this would have helped at Komoda. It is a good bow. But victory is won by warriors, not weapons. You haven't seen the Mongols fire weapons. They have not yet won. Fort Nakayama. I hope your student is inside. Get a better look at the defenses from up there. Uh, this spot is perfect. I'll find a way in. Open the gate. Then we hit them. Do you always charge into battle with your Hakama half tied? You have a better idea? Patience, Sakai. The Mongols will send men to find their missing patrol. When they open the gates, we strike. The longer we delay, the longer Tomoe remains in danger. She can take care of herself. Survey the battlefield. What can we use to our advantage? Hornet nests. One shot could stir them up. Mm, the Mongols will face the sting of insects and arrows. Those barrels could do some damage. We'll find out. 
An arrow in those hanging lights will kick up sparks. <laughs> and start fires. They have many archers. They're skilled, but we are better. When the gates open, distract the enemy and rain arrows on their heads. Then we storm the fort and free Tomoe. Good. Now we wait. They're opening the gates. Wait for my signal. to their ancestors. Prisoners tied up, killed with arrows. Tomoe isn't. Wait, this pendant belongs to her. Search the fort. Someone's personal quarters. A woman's kimono. Tomoe's kimono. The Mongols freed her. Why? These arrows are Japanese. They're Tomoe's arrows. You are sure? I taught her to make the knock with deer horn. And that curve of the eagle feathers. So the Mongols took her weapons? The shots are tightly clustered. No Mongol shoots Japanese arrows with such skill. Huh. 
Then they allowed her to use a bow. A scroll. Archery terms with Mongolian translations. Your name is mentioned. She was teaching them my way of the bow. Do you hear that? A survivor. It's so cold. Are we looking for a woman, an archer? The Mongols caged her with us. But they set her free. Gave her armor and a bow. She killed my wife. And the others. The bodies we found. She proved her skill to the enemy. And they recruited her. Please. It... It hurts. Don't leave me. I've seen enough. Let's go. I should have killed her. Sensei? Omoe won her freedom. And she joined the Mongols. Why would she do that? What happened? I pushed her too hard. Pushed her how? What are you hiding? Sensei! I demand an answer. She attacked me. Not bandits. Tomoe. Why? She has no idea what it means to be samurai. You drove her to the Mongols. Do not judge me. Do not lie to me. I can't let Tomoe teach my way of the bow to the enemy. And we will stop her. This is my fight. I don't need your weapon. No, you need me. Victory is won by warriors, not weapons. Hmm. Lord Shimura raised you well. We'll hunt them away together, but we do it my way. And when the time comes, you will help rescue my uncle. You have my word, Sakai. I will prepare to hunt Tomoe. When you are ready, meet me at my dojo. We can't rescue my uncle alone. I need more people to join our fight. Fine lady Masako Wadachi. If she's still alive, she's one of the finest warriors on the island. Mari, here.